Hi, Jennifer. Thank Hi. you so much for chatting with me. Thanks for having me. Of course. Um, also, just throwback here, but I have to say I loved you in Twitches. That was my childhood. Oh, major throwback. Thank you. That Not a lot of people know it was Canadian, right? Like, yes. so good. Um, okay, so single all the way. This movie is adorable, hilarious, so relatable on so many levels. What was it about the project that made you want to jump into this? I think everything that you just said, and also really wanting to be a part of the first gay Christmas rom-com on Netflix was something I was very interested in. And then the script was hilarious. Chad wrote this really funny, heartwarming script. I mean, I'm in the movie and I cried when I watched the movie. <laughs> I was like, I even knew what happened. And I'm still crying. This is so embarrassing. Um, and then I just found out, you know, as we got closer to shooting who the cast was and it was just, I was blown away. It was so fun. So good. And I mean, speaking of the cast, how was it working with Jennifer Coolidge? I got to ask, how did you guys just not break every time she had a scene? Because she's so funny. That's the challenge. It's almost like everyone is holding their breath in this scene where she comes late to the dinner. I mean, we're all just holding our breath because you don't want to ruin the take. But she's so, so funny, so lovely, so kind. Kathy is like, I wish I was best friends with Kathy and Jimmy in high school. She's so fun and mischievous and just wants to play. And, you know, we were in the middle of, we're still in this pandemic in Montreal in April. And I still feel like I got to know those people. I still feel like we all connected, which was really hard to do while you're in goggles and masks and, you know, <laughs> but we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you guys can totally see that in the film because you all had such great chemistry. Honestly, though, I would have loved to have seen a scene between Sandy and Moira at some point. It oh, was, yeah. <laughs> that would have been a great crossover. Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so the first time we see Lisa and Peter, they have that awesome sibling handshake. Did you guys come up with that? And how much improv really took place on this set? Because there's so many great moments in this movie. I mean, we they gave us freedom, Michael and I, to come up with that ourselves and of course Michael's like a Broadway guy he can like sing and dance I'm like I'm not so he was like we'll keep it real simple I'm like thank you we'll keep it real simple so we came up with our little our little greeting and I didn't have a ton of improv those are all Chad's words that I'm saying um I think with Jennifer I think there was some <laughs> oh god she's funny um but I I mean I think for the most part we're sticking to, to the words that were on the page which were just so great yeah. so great and okay your pub scene between you James and Peter was by far my favorite scene in this film I watched it with my mom we both cried laughing how many takes did that take to get that right yeah well there's only so many shirts and so many burgers so it's a lot of pressure um the one take, I actually completely missed him, which was hysterical. I don't even know how I did it. It just went over his shoulder. Um, and Luke is so nice. And so every time I do, I go, so sorry afterwards. I'm so sorry. I do apologize. Um, that was a last minute. Some of that dialogue was like a last minute thing that Chad wrote. And I loved it. Although I did struggle through Baywatch Barbie Fun Cruiser. It's not easy to think. So good. The dialogue was so good in this movie. Um, okay, so to end, I wanted to play a little Christmas at this or that game with you. Yeah. Um, Christmas activities from the movie. So would you rather attend a Christmas pageant or watch a Christmas movie? Oh, Christmas movie for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I have an 11 year old. I've been to some concerts that, that have just been very lengthy. I think I think the standing ovation at the end of the pageant in this movie was very generous. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, would you rather go caroling or skiing? Oh, caroling. I'm not great with winter sports, even though I am a Vancouver. I, we cross country skied, which skiers tell me is not even like a thing. I'm like, it is a thing. It's just very slow and safe. <laughs> so there you go. There yeah. you go. There's all different Canadians. We don't all have to love the winter. <laughs> <laughs> um, homemade or store-bought gifts? Oh, Listen, I want to say publicly, I want to say, oh, homemade, but I want to be like, um, depends who made it. Because <laughs> my mom went through a phase in Palm Springs. She had a place in Palm Springs where she made these, she called them Christmas 
finishers or something to go on your door out of palm fronds. And she would take two palm fronds and do a big bow. And it looked like a vulva. And we all <laughs> call them my mother's Christmas vulvas. And so you got to be careful with the homemade. Although it did become a holiday tradition. We're like, it's time to hang the vulva. At least you got a good story out of it. Yeah, There's a great story out of it. Yeah, it's she doesn't have a place in Palm Springs anymore. We're not getting <laughs> More unique than a sign. So More unique. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Christmas with snow or Christmas on the beach? Christmas with snow. Yeah. As Canadians, yeah. We, we have to, right? I had snow like Christmas without it once and it was so weird. Yeah. Um, okay. And finally, pick out a Christmas tree or bake Christmas cookies. Can I do both? Is that an option? It's not. It's an either or. I'm going to say pick a Christmas tree because I do like being outdoors, despite the fact that I'm not <laughs> downhill skiing. I do love a little snowshoe. I love a little like, you okay. know, get the layers on the fresh air. I do love that. So I'm going to say pick a Christmas tree. I love that. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. And fam, make sure to stream single all the way out on Netflix December 2nd. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye.